This is an animated supplement for Chapter 6, Daniel Strikes Stone, from the book Our Fathers at Gettysburg by Jack Kunkel. Confederate Daniel was preparing to strike the southern portion of Oak Ridge near Shed's Woods, but he begins taking fire from Stone's brigade on the south side of Chambersburg Pike, and he realizes he'll have to do something about that because Stone will be able to fire directly into his right flank. So as Daniel prepares his other regiments to advance on Shed's Woods, he sends two regiments, the 45th North Carolina and 2nd North Carolina Battalion, to deal with Stone. Stone sees what's coming, and he faces all his regiments towards Daniel. Also, he orders the 149th Pennsylvania across the road and into the railroad cut, where they will be concealed from the approaching Confederate troops. The two Confederate regiments advance, only to be surprised and driven back by the 149th Pennsylvania. The two regiments fall back, regroup, and make another attack. But the result is the same. They are driven back. The Federals in a railroad cut are too well protected. But the 149th is taking cannon fire from Brander's battery, which is firing shot down the railroad cut like deadly bowling balls. The 149th now races back to the south side of the pike to join the rest of their line. Daniel sees this and assumes the Federals are retreating. He decides to attack again. In this second attack, Daniel will use the same two regiments, the 45th North Carolina and 2nd North Carolina Battalion, but he also adds a third, the 32nd North Carolina. The latter will attack at an angle through the wheat field and attempt to flank Stone's troops. Again, Stone's brigade sees what's coming, and the 149th is again ordered back across the road into the railroad cut. Furthermore, three companies are ordered across the pike to protect the 149th's left flank. Because of the wheat, the Confederates don't see these three companies. So Daniel's three regiments attack again. And once again, the 45th North Carolina and 2nd North Carolina Battalion are quickly driven back from the railroad cut where the 149th Pennsylvania is well protected. The 32nd North Carolina advances across the wheat and is completely surprised when the three companies of Federals rise up behind the wheat and blast into the Carolinians' faces. That surprise, plus infantry fire from the 150th Pennsylvania, drives back the 32nd North Carolina. After disposing of the Confederate infantry, the 149th is once again under cannon fire from Brander's battery and so they race back again to their line on the south side of Chambersburg Pike. Daniel notes that A.P. Hill's Corps on the south side of the pike, and specifically Brockenborough's brigade, is stirring and preparing to attack Stone. Realizing that the greater goal is to break the Federal line at Shed's Woods, he redeploys his regiments to face east toward Oak Ridge, leaving only the 32nd North Carolina to distract Stone's men. For much more on this battle, including descriptions by the soldiers involved, as well as photos, illustrations, and Google links to the actual battlefield locations, please refer to this book.